Elegant rocking the Lauren tag. I'm sure she's in the chat <laughs> in the right chat, now, yeah. cheering and watching. <laughs> We're just waiting for Tanner to get ready here. And of course, we got the man uh, getting some research on his laptop right now. Oh, dude, that's I'll, that's what that's what I'm all about. Like, hey, uh, pull up, pull up, Kur Kuragana Hammer while you're there. <laughs> uh, shout, shout outs to both Kuragana Hammer and Jugia, uh, two guys who honestly do a tremendous amount of work behind the scenes. I feel like they don't get enough shout outs every now and then, but they do a lot of work in the scenes to definitely help us out here. Yeah. Alrighty, so it actually looks like Tanner's going Simon. Okay. Which, is be, which will be interesting. I'm interested to see what Tater Simon is going to be like. Yeah. Uh, me maining Simon myself, I kind of understand how the character works here. Yeah, we'll have to see how it goes down. Uh, so, so far, it's throwing out a couple projectiles. Of course, that's going to be the name of the game for uh, Tanner keep the playing the keep away, and that's going to be his win condition as well. Yeah. But of it's, course. <laughs> it's not on. only setting up the wall here, but it's also how. What, what can you do after your setups, right? Mm -hmm. That's one thing that some of the Belmonts players can struggle here is aside from holy water and the cross what are your follow-ups what are you, what can you do to get percent here mm -hmm. and another thing that i think is a little bit notable in this matchup is that fireball which has pretty quick startup it actually is going to clank with the cross mm -hmm. so that takes away um simon's lateral options exactly when it comes with his pressure so it's not going to be really forcing luigi to the ground as or to the air as much as he wants to where he might have a better chance of priority but that whip is going to be a good do a good job of keeping away that grab so that he doesn't get any zero to death or any nasty stuff like that. Yeah. Ooh, unfortunate there. Didn't quite get the spacing correctly on that. Couldn't get a follow-up. But Tatanator still trying to do a pretty good job of keeping this ledge control. Let's we'll see what the option is going to be. Oh, I like it. That's the thing about this Belmont right? The ledge trapping that can be pretty tough to get around. A lot of projectiles in your face. Nice. Using the tether with the forward air. It has a bit of a range. If you do miss the timing, though, that forwarder will actually hit the wall of the stage and it won't let you recover that. Gets a downer. I like that he sees his percent because at some points that won't be a confirm anymore. All right, getting a little bit of damage, but the cross, if it comes back on the on that hitbox, yeah, it's going to send your opponent up, so you might fall out of some stuff, so fall out of holy water and stuff like that. It's going to have to be careful about that. I like it. Tossing the cross off the stage, so when it comes back, if he gets caught by Elegant, that cross will bring him away there. A lot yep. of stage control here for Tater, and he reads the high option with an up smash. Yep. That up smash is a little risky. Um, it, it's a very long hitbox, but it's also very thin. So you're not going to be able to catch a wide range. So you pretty much have to be on point with being able to catch that. But he got the tipper hitbox as well. Yeah. So that's going to be a very early kill. One landing there will be able to even up the stocks, though. Yeah, for those of you guys wondering what the Belmont differences are, it's not much. Honestly, it just comes down to the way that Holy Water does register in the game. Mm -hmm. I feel like uh, that might be why he picked uh, this Holy Water, just in case it clanks with the Fireball. Exactly. And then it'll detonate, uh, because it's a uh, fire property for Simon, whereas nice. uh, for Richter, it's uh, Aura. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I, I mentioned even up the stocks, I forgot that <laughs> he took out another stock earlier from Elegant. So Taternator actually still keeping a one stock lead, but he's stuck on the ledge right now. And as long as Elegant can find that Edge Guardian he's looking for, he should be able to try and seal out the stock, but he's going to make it back to the stage just fine. Okay. Tater gets back on the stage, uses both hits of down tilt. Yeah, one of Simon's fastest normal, so it's going to allow him to get out of a lot of situations, especially on wake up from the ledge. Yeah, first hit of down tilt being about frame 7, so it's pretty fast. Okay, it's that tether. I mean, so far, Elegant's been setting himself for the edge guard phase, but it's really difficult to wear that Tater's just been immediately recovering with tether. Like, I like that he's tossing the cross away there because it does that break damage right there. So if Elegant was going to make an approach at the ledge, that cross helped him stall him out for a second. Yeah, you can kind of tell the fear Tater has, especially at this high percent. He doesn't want to go down because one uh, good edge guard at a last stock can mm -hmm. mean the difference between life and death right now. Oh, great parry coming from Elegant, actually. Drops the shield at the exact right time, gets an up smash. Now, all of a sudden, it's an even game. I know the percents are high, but considering Simon and the Belmonts, uh, mm. how, how their recoveries work. Oh, this could definitely be it. make it back. Oh, yeah, boy. That's it, that's oh, no. No, 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 that's no, no, that is not allowed. I'm that sorry, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. The minute I saw him get that grab at 0%, I was like, dude, that's it. I hate to admit it, uh, but that's how that works. That grab, that grab kill combo honestly just kills you anywhere from 0 to 20%. If you are within that range with your character, 0 to 20%, you will take that L, dude. Luigi was the L in its hat for a reason. And that's a great prime example. You mess up one time, and you will definitely feel it. That's why, we, like you said, Tater did not want to lose that stock. There was a reason why I was holding on to it. He knows Elegant is a momentum-based player. And he knows the minute that he gets the stock away, he comes back to the game, comes back to himself, and says, this is going to be my call here. Find the grab, find that 0-20%, to 20%, and then just come back with a lot of momentum here. Tater was doing excellent, though. 
Let's talk about a couple other conditions too. Of course, Simon is a little bit of a bigger hitbox. He's got <laughs> some broad shoulders, so that's going to be a factor. Um, not really a fast faller, but he does. Uh, he, he is susceptible to those down throw combos. Exactly, his wider percenters because of his weight. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, you just follow the right DI. Uh, that is a little bit difficult to do sometimes. Sometimes on that first down throw, if you don't quite get the right hitbox on that there, mm -hmm. then you can pop out or pop in, and you don't quite get the follow up. But uh, yeah, that's going to work out for Elegant just fine. That was unfortunate for Tatanator, but he's going to have to try and bring this back. I mean, he was still playing good um, on his neutral and on his control for most of the round. It's just that one grab was the difference between life and death. And you'll notice that in that first game, he only really got like two grabs or something like that. Yeah. And that last grab right there was the, the big deciding factor of the game. Oh, tries to get the grab there, but Elegant pushes him back away with that dip back air. I like the fact that Tatanator went for two downers there, knowing that Elegant was going to go for an option there. Changing it up, he knows what percent that's co that combo is going to work for. Mm -hmm. You All can right. also you can also angle your forwards for those of you guys wondering. That's one thing that we do see Nitro do differently from Tater here. He angles his aerials there, and they're really crucial. Not only that, he goes for a lot of out of shield reads, but a tornado not going to kill Tater, living at the edge of his life. That dash attack does it, unfortunately. Well, you, Luigi's ba dash attack used to be pretty bad, but now it's uh, pretty good. Oh no! Oh, this, this is might be potentially it. Yeah. it. Yep. Yep. Upbeat. There it is. Not quite it. I don't okay. think. Yeah. Okay. Good DI. Probably just needed like a like two more percents mm -hmm. so that was unfortunate but gonna make it back to the stage yeah that's fine oh no that spacing dude he wasn't spaced off as well as he wanted to be and you can even sell in tater's face like he was trying to move away at that one time elegant caught the slip up yep this time elegant being very smart about how he avoids holy water spacing as long as you can tell where holy water will end up um, when you're at the at the ledge then you can try to avoid whatever mix-ups he tries to do either whether it's close where it hits you while you're hanging or mm -hmm. if he try to catch as a roll or some neutral getup or something like that. Yeah, Elegant's uh, content to sit on his three-stock lead. Uh, I think Tanner is really just uh, trying to get some time to figure out what he can do. I think he just taunted there too, so yeah, we might oh, no, be seeing that... him give up real soon. Tanner, don't give up yet. Down tilt, frame seven. Nice, get the holy water to F-Smash. That's a pretty solid confirm there. Tater. Finally, a little breath of momentum here, but we'll see what Elegant strikes back. Nice. Up throw. Yeah. Again, uh, up air, also another really thin hitbox. You have to be really precise with this, and of course, you've got those air dodge options too. Yeah. So it's going to be not quite too common that you're going to see that land unless you get a really good read, but still, Tatanator trying to bring this back around. Great air dodge and not fall into the holy water. I there. want to see him. And hopefully it's not too late for Tater, but I want to see him start doing setups, right? Knowing that Elegant is going to try to dodge the, the crush, going to try to dodge the holy water. Oh, man. That is just uh, good reads. I mean, Elegant yeah. was known for getting those like, kind of tech chase up reads in Smash 4.